Before this video starts, I would like to give a huge thank you to Buff for sponsoring this video. I know you guys are probably thinking, what is Buff? Let me introduce you real quick. Buff is a completely free low-T program that rewards gamers for simply playing their favorite games. That could be Fortnite, CSGO, Warzone, Apex Legends, League of Legends, Rocket League, Valorant. Literally, they support so many games. And all you guys have to do is just download it, let it run in the background while you're playing these games, and you can stack up and earn points and coins, which can later be spent for in real life purchases. Like you can go in the marketplace and buy tons of things such as like Discord Nitro, games, memberships, so many things. There is so much variety. All you need to do to get started is go to buff.game. I'll put the link at the top of the description. Press this big green button, download for free. It will quickly install as you can see. And also you may know it's Overwolf logo right here. Yeah, this app is both partnered and authorized with Overwolf. So yeah, you know it's trusted, but simply open it out, sign up for an account. You can log in with Google or Discord. And once all is downloaded, I just have to literally open my game, have this in the background. It won't affect my game's performance in any way. And I can earn coins to then go, here to the marketplace as i already mentioned and yeah cash out you know buy some new games buy some google play gifts i can literally buy pizza on here so yeah what are you waiting for join buff for free with the link in the description today Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Fetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys, we're just going to get straight into this. I'm going to be showing you guys the best NVIDIA control panel settings, the all-around best settings for gaming and performance on Windows 10 systems. So I guess this could work for any systems, but dedicated more to Windows 10 and just gaming in general. So the optimizations I'll show in this video and the settings will work for any game. It isn't just Fortnite, but they do work especially for Fortnite. Now, of course, I do just want to get straight into this. If if you go ahead and enjoy the video, the least you can do for me, you know, is just drop a like, subscribe, all of the good stuff. Literally takes two seconds, really to support the channel, and you can always just give me that chance and unsubscribe later down the line. If you no longer enjoy my content, it just really does mean the world to me. But yeah, let's just get straight into this. I don't want to have a long intro. I'm over on my desktop right now, as you can see. I'm just going to navigate to my NVIDIA control panel. You can just right click your desktop anywhere and you should see it right here. If it's not here, you can just instead search it. So NVIDIA control panel, you should be able to find it. And if you can't find it here, maybe try your display tray. So all the way down here. You may find it here and if you still have not got it You could maybe just not have it installed because that can be the case sometimes So what you want to do is just search up store and go into the Microsoft store and you can download it there Just make sure that you do have hundred percent an Nvidia graphics card Otherwise, you will not have the control panel, but assuming you can all get to it I've got mine open right here All you want to do is we're gonna start with the adjust image settings with preview So the first thing you want to do is basically choose a third option Which is use my preference emphasizing you want to basically move this it should be set to balance You want to move this down to performance you now want to click back to the second one use the advanced 3d image settings just make sure this does say performance right here and then what you want to do is press take me there and basically what that'll do is it'll take you to the manage 3d settings tab so once you're on here you basically can just copy mine so what i'm going to do is let you guys basically pause the video copy my settings and i'm going to actually go through them and explain them right now but for the most part these are the best most optimized settings you can possibly have for more or less any game out there and just windows 10 gaming in general but let's actually start from the top so assuming you've now actually paused the video i guess copy them or you can just copy them as we go through there really isn't much to talk about but image sharpening you want to have sharpening off scaling disabled you don't want your image sharpened you really don't need it if you want to actually alter your settings like that or graphic settings visual settings in any way you can just do that on your actual monitor i wouldn't even mess with it here but things like ambient occlusion anti-aliasing these are things that you just don't ever want on they really do affect your frames like you'd know that a lot of people probably already know that but scrolling down here there really isn't much to like cover like these are the best settings dsr factors this is one of those things that you just don't want to mess with low latency mode for the most part you do actually get the least input lag with this turned off but you can actually try it and see what you prefer it, i guess it is kind of subjective depending on your system and i guess personal preference so yeah give this a try maybe try on never go with ultra just hands down do not use ultra i would not recommend that at all usually just more bad than good so go between on and off and see what works best for you for me i play a lot of fortnite and having it off always has worked the best things like max frame rate you don't want any limits on your frame rate so of course that is quite um obvious obvious there. Power management, you want the maximum performance at all times, no matter what. Things like having the highest refresh rate, of course. Texture filtering, all this is just making sure that you have things running at the highest performance. Vertical sync, that is longhand for V-Sync. You do not want V-Sync at all. Like, it is really bad, unless you have maybe 60 hertz. So a 60 hertz refresh rate, lower end monitor, maybe you do want to try V-Sync, as it can actually make your game feel a little bit nicer. But for the most part, if you have anywhere above 60 hertz, you do not want to use V-Sync whatsoever. It will just give you a ton of input delay, and it won't be 
fun. It won't be a good experience. It's going to basically cap you more or less at 60 FPS. It isn't going to be good. So yeah, just turn off VSync. And yeah, again, everything else, I can't really explain them. I just know they're the best settings. Just trust me on that. Try them out. You will see a huge performance increase. You can always revert them as well. Like you can restore your settings here if they don't work, but I'm telling you they will. And now moving on to my display settings. So resolution, of course, you just want to have the highest refresh rate selected. I'd recommend using native resolution. It is the best, but native resolution, which is 920 by 1080 and the highest refresh rate selected mine is 240 hertz i also use the default color settings here and now going down to adjust desktop color settings i haven't really altered much at all like actually i haven't altered anything i know i used to have my digital vibrance a little bit higher i think i had on about 80 percent but now i do not I, I just haven't changed anything and i just have on this default 50 none of this will affect frames or performance but i would actually recommend that you do maybe up your digital vibrance it can make some games look very good so maybe put it to like 70 80 percent it could be nice for you but again it's all subjective personal preference things like rotate display none of these really matter too much now moving down to adjust desktop size and position now mine is a little bit different because i actually have a dual pc setup so a gaming pc and a streaming pc like two dedicated pcs so mine is a little bit different to what you guys will need but i'm going to run you through it here just don't copy mine directly so for your scaling mode i would recommend you use full screen so full screen scaling mode okay full screen now everything else you can actually copy so perform scaling on you do want to have this on display and i would recommend you also override the scaling mode set by both games and programs and now the reason you do want to perform scaling on your display is because basically if you do on your gpu what this is going to do it's just going to naturally induce input lag that's just how it works a lot of the settings in here that's all they really do they can of course affect performance and such and that's why you've got the good 3d settings but a lot of it also is about getting the least input delay and like input lag to your game so everything's just as responsive as possible and having this on gpu it just won't be as responsive you're not going to get one-to-one -one response time and now i know also some of you are probably panicking right now because you only have a gpu option here that basically just means your monitor does not have a display scaler that is actually nothing to worry about maybe in the future you do want to actually upgrade to maybe a better monitor i know benq monitors don't have a display scaler and yet yeah, you are kind of at a little bit of a disadvantage but it also isn't that big of a deal but if you do have display go ahead and use it because you know there is benefits but now finally the last thing um video image settings these are all default i'm pretty sure so yeah do as you wish <laughs> they are yeah i'm pretty sure i'm using the video player settings which are default but yeah guys that is all I have in this video that really isn't much more I want to show. I think one thing you can actually do is enable developer settings. So right at the top, go to desktop, enable developer settings, and it should give you this option here, manage GPU performance counters. What I would recommend is that you do actually allow access to the GPU performance counters to all users. That is a good thing. So yeah, I would recommend that. And I think also enabling developer settings, you do get more, um, let me just apply this here. Yeah, make sure you guys are applying the settings as well. That is very much important. But yeah, I do think you actually get more free d settings i'm very certain okay maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm mistaken but um okay yeah i guess you don't also one thing i never mentioned threaded optimization um for the most part you will probably want this on if you have a i guess higher end cpu you can go between the two and see what works but it basically is multi-thread rendering so yeah um if you use multi-thread rendering in fortnite let's say a lot of my viewers do in fact play fortnite so you will know what mtr is and if you do use that just basically make it correlate make that setting correlate and choose what you'd use in the actual game but for me, I have quite a high-end CPU and it is best. As it does actually say on the description down here, threaded optimization allows applications to take advantage of multiple CPUs. So all the processors on your processor, it will use all of them and basically just make sure you're getting the most out of your CPU. But yeah, enough rambling. That's all I have in today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know in the comments if this did help in any way, shape or form. It really is greatly appreciated. I love the feedback. It really does mean a lot. I do actually see every comment. I know I can't reply. I can't heart every single comment, but I do see them. Trust me, I see you guys and i see you guys asking me to upload more and yeah i mean it really is appreciated i have to thank you guys for like everything i have my whole youtube channel um i'm literally about to get my 100k plaque and it's amazing i really do appreciate you guys and yeah it just means the most but if you enjoyed this video drop a like subscribe you know the drill all of that good stuff hope everyone has an amazing day it's been your boy fetch and yeah peace